I noticed you with the hat. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that you were surrounded by some people. And I noticed that they were being kind of threatening. And then somebody snatched your hat off your head. And that's the point where I something kind of snapped inside me because <laughs> I wear a, um, a Muslim hijab. And I've been in situations where people have tried to snatch it off my head. Wow. And I rushed towards you and I just started screaming, leave him alone, give me that back. I don't think we could be any further apart as people. And yet it was just kind of like this common, that's not okay moment. You are genuinely the only Muslim person I know. I just, it's not that I've actively avoided. It's just, yeah. I've just never been in the position where I can uh, interact mm -hmm. for an extended period of time. So I guess my views on uh, the Muslim community have been influenced by a lot of the news articles and, and things of that nature. I feel like a lot of times in the media, you don't see the normal Muslim, the one that listens to classic rock like I do. <laughs> you don't, you don't meet that Muslim. Can you tell me about where you grew up? What was that part of your life like? So I was born in Baghdad, in Iraq. I moved to the U.S. when I was 10 years old. Okay. Being uh, a Muslim girl, I stood out in almost every single way that you can <laughs> in middle school, the worst time to stand out. What about you? How was it like when you grew up? I was homeschooled. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a vastly different experience socially. It was, I didn't have... I guess as many friends as most people would. I only went to public school one year of my life and I got in three fights and I lost all of them. <laughs> I actually lost a lot of friends because of the selection, because of my political stance. So I hope that I can be the reason that someone decides to talk to someone as opposed to just cutting them out of their life or blocking them on Twitter, yeah. you know? I'd like for this to encourage other people to engage in more conversations yeah. with people that you don't agree with. That's what it's all about. I'm so glad I wasn't the only one who felt like that.